Planning for and planting a native prairie is such a fun time. The excitement of future blooms, low maintenance ground cover, and visiting pollinators and other wildlife are just a few reasons that people plan and plant native species in their backyard and beyond. It's important to know what to expect next so you can adjust your expectations accordingly. The vast majority of native species uh, here in the upper Midwest are long-lived perennials, meaning they will stick around for a very long time. They can take quite a while to germinate, grow, and become obvious in your planting area, and even longer to become a diverse prairie. So here's what to expect in the years following seeding your native planting. The first year growth will be minimal. Expect very little growth from your native seeds, especially if you haven't used a cover crop such as oats or winter wheat. During this time, we recommend keeping an eye on the seeding area, mowing the vegetation when it reaches a height of around two feet down to a height of six to eight inches or so. Using a weed whip is a great tool for this. If you're not seeing a lot of weeds in your young planting, that's great. You can leave it alone and let the native species kind of do their thing. In a young planting, I don't recommend doing too much pulling of weeds. When you pull weeds from the soil surface, you disturb the soil, which can introduce more weed seeds to grow, but it can also disturb those young prairie seedlings that are working so hard on establishing their roots so that they can begin their upward growth. If you're able to seed in the fall time or very early in the spring, by the end of the growing season, if conditions are right, you may start to see the Black Eyed Susans coming up and blooming. That's gonna be a great indicator of success. It's one of our first native blooming species in the prairie or savanna. In that second year, it is very common to cut the vegetation pretty early in the year if you are seeing annual weed growth, and then monitoring is crucial during this time period. Overall, the prairie may have a weedy appearance. A lot of that is you know, either just cover crop or some annual weeds are going to come up once you disturb that soil. Don't expect a ton of flowers yet, but also don't give up hope. It is coming. When we refer to a prairie or a native seeding, a woodland, savanna, shoreline project as mature, that means it's been around about three growing seasons or longer. Once we hit that third growing season or somewhere in between three, four, and five years after seeding, you expect to see more variety of different flowers, the grasses will be more obvious, and just an overall diversity to the planting that you hadn't seen in previous growing seasons. When a prairie becomes mature, it also becomes lower maintenance. There's less space in between plants uh, for weeds to fill in. The plants grow taller throughout the growing season. And overall, annual weed issues shouldn't be much of a problem anymore. We hope this helps you understand a little bit more about your prairie and what to expect as it grows and matures. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll do our best to help you out.